What's up everyone? Well you guys know we're at Bison Overland getting my custom Jeep Gladiator truck camper all finished up. I wanted to talk to you today about why I'm not doing a cab over truck camper like similar to this composite truck camper that they built for their Tacoma. So let's dive in. There's a lot of reasons and a lot of things I want to chat about today. <laughs> So one of the biggest reasons that I like the non cab over design is because I lived out of the Dodge Mahal for a year, which was just a box. And that has a U-shaped dinette with a table pedestal that pushes down and makes into the bed. I got really comfortable with that setup and began to love it because in the cab over camper, you sleep over the cab right next to vinyl walls. In my style camper, you sleep a little bit lower next to real walls, next to the composite walls, next to real windows, so you don't feel like you're in a tent as much. That really is one of the biggest reasons for me that I wanted a non-cab over, was to have the bed down low, and you don't have to pop the top to sleep. You don't have to pop the top to even sit in it and do work around the table or to eat a quick meal. in situations like this where there's a storm coming and it's really windy outside I like to have the top down yeah there's some wind coming in right now and when I have the top down as well you know I can still access everything and when it's stormy you know I like to be in like a little cave so I don't mind that it's low um, when you live in here every day with it up uh, this, like I said, it's just kind of fun. It's kind of a fun rendition of it to have it completely hard sided and low and just kind of small, this small little cave that you can really truly relax in. Um, so I like it a lot. Wow, look, I just caught this. Is this a fly? There's something crawling on me, some bug. I've been catching lots of bugs with my hands lately. My fingers. So everything is based around that box camper not really needing the top to be popped. The only thing you need to pop the top for is gonna to be to stand. Maybe cooking would be better like that too with the pop top. So essentially the pop top doesn't run your life. You choose to pop it or not to get more standing room or not. So I love that aspect of it. I also love that I have a full roof rack. I have the pack racks, roof rack. I can fit tons of stuff up there. Um, I can fit my kayak, I can fit mountain bikes. I can change that. That's modular storage that I'll be changing with the truck as my goals and travel goals change, just like I did with the Dodge Mahal. I had two mountain bikes on the roof with the Dodge Mahal. I had two kayaks on the roof. I had my spare tire on the roof. I had extra gas on the roof. I tried so many different things laying out that roof rack that I really wanted some sort of modular storage that could change with my needs down the line. So having the full roof rack is really important to me. Another big reason is weight. Um, not having this part of the camper, I mean, you chop that off, your camper's all of a sudden lighter. Um, big reason too is fatigue. A solid box is stronger than a box with something hanging over out of it. it also, I'm the type of person that if I have a bed ready there and I'm feeling kind of tired or something, probably just gonna go and lie down and chill in the bed. When you don't have a cab over camper and you have this U-shaped dinette like the Dodge Mahal and you have to you know, transform the space from a bed to a dinette, it allows me to really decide what I want for that day. So for example, if I wake up and I'm tired and I've traveled a bunch and I've been working a bunch and I'm just beat, I'll keep the bed set up all day long to force myself to relax and to not do any editing and, and to just chill. It's really hard sometimes to be your own boss to have those days off. So this camper layout of my camper really allows me to dial in what I want. If it's the opposite, if I've been you know, chilling too much and, and I have a lot of videos to edit and I wake up in the morning and I really wanna make my coffee and get after it right away, pop that table up early you know pop that table up at 8 a.m you're going to be more productive that day and getting more done got a nice view out this window of the lake 
Got my coffee editing station and a beautiful view of the window or out of the lake out the door here. So yeah, this is kind of what we're working with. Um, huge table, plenty of space when we're set up all in the dinette and uh, plenty of space for Coda to hang out. You could even have somebody else over there editing video as well. I could scoot my computer forward and they would have plenty of space um, to sit over there. Um, but with the top down and the pad in, three or four people is what's comfortable. Uh, you, we fit about five or six around this dinette pretty comfortably though. Funny is if this guy were here, uh, he would tell this guy that I pulled him out of over here yesterday. Now all of this, these thoughts were really all solo. Of course now I'm dating Julie and she has her rig on the road but we sleep out of mine and, and we'll have more space in my camper. So you know we will have to think about that a lot more and that's one thing I'll say about the cab over that is definitely a benefit is traveling as a couple with two people. One person could get up and out of bed and go down into the camper and make coffee or get up earlier than the other and vice versa. In this setup, we're gonna have to both get up at the same time, decide to make the table at the same time, and also decide to go to bed at the same time and, and make the table into the bed. So there are pros and cons. Just like anything, this whole building the perfect ultimate four by four, you know, vehicle to live out of, there's no right or wrong. And my approach to it is a lot more minimalist and just cutting out anything that you don't need. To me, a cab over is on a, on a mid-sized truck, on a, on a really smaller truck, it's kind of just wasted space and weight because during the day, you're hanging out over here. You're not going up into the bed to sleep unless, again, you're having a relaxing day. and and in that case then we can leave the bed set up all day so the interior is being built by dustin and he cnc you know he designs everything in cad and then cnc cuts everything i'm gonna have baltic birch um, really high quality nice interior it will be a little bit heavier than maybe a composite fiberglass even aluminum style interior but i feel like that added weight and rigidity will be good we're going to be cutting honeycomb shapes into it as well to try to reduce weight as much as possible so yeah but that's why i went with a non-cab over camper hope that answers some of your questions and uh make sure to like comment let me know what you think of the gladiator build so excited for this thing to be finishing up we'll see you on the next one guys Whew. the only question is are you down to mob <laughs>